Oh my life, I'm back. It's the start of the weekend and it's a very special weekend. Not actually because of these guys this time. It's special because of this one. How many years have you been waiting to be in the house for your birthday? Uh, well, what did we first move out when I was about seven? Yeah. Five years. And yeah. Bailey Absolutely. made Tamara a promise this year that mm. we'd be in the house for the year that he turns into a teenager. So Bailey turns 13 on Monday, Yay. but this weekend, because Halloween is your favourite time of year, isn't it? Yes. He's got, you've got your friends coming over. Yeah. We're going to do pumpkin carving today. You're having a sleepover. And then we're going to go trampolining on Monday Yay. for your birthday. And then we're going to do a whole Halloween celebration on Thursday. But meanwhile, as you saw in the earlier video, he's got all his decorations up, haven't you? Yep. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. So we've got big spiders up there. The spider's web. That one, the big one is called Tom. <laughs> Tom. Yes, he, that, and over there, uh, we have his little siblings, Tim and Hortons. Tim and Hortons. Okay. <laughs> uh, then, since I'm sleeping on the sofa so that my best friend can share the bed, I improvised with a lamp because the lamp I have um, semi holds up the fairy lights, the pumpkin ones. Um, yeah, so just got three big candles and five little ones surrounding it. Works very well. We've got this creepy creature above the bed. Are you sure your friends aren't going to get scared with that? Yeah. Be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, we also have one down in the lounge that hangs there. We do. And you've um, got more candles in the corner there. Candles, but, the, but my favourite thing, my makeup kit. I very much so pranked Mother with this and made a very realistic looking cut along uh, my arm. Are you all going to be doing that tonight? Are you going to try and terrorise me again? I might try and do one on my face and make myself look pale in, so that I can prepare for Halloween. Okay. Yeah. And then we have over here, and up on my wall, thanks to Susan, a lovely little, like, it's meant to go on a door, but my door's kind of too big and it didn't look right, so I made it a wall poster instead. And I like it. And also, uh, it actually comes out some fake blood, which gives it even more ambiance. <gasps> you are going to be in so much trouble with tomorrow for that. Off. It's only, it's only, it's only Let's hope she doesn't watch this video. It's congelated, they can get it off easily. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, should we go downstairs and have a look at the pumpkin carving station? Yeah. Children anarchy. <laughs> oh! Bailey's birthday weekend. His friends are coming round for a sleepover and a bit of pumpkin carving. So we're all geared up in here. And I think there's going to be a lot of noise going on today. And a lot of very interesting carving. <laughs> Got two kids here already. <laughs> We've had our caffeine fix, haven't we? Yeah, we're all, we're oh, I love those. Yeah. Let me get the eyes, and then we can bubble. <laughs> From pumpkins to being a wally. That is your official name in, in the panto, isn't it, Bailey? Yes. I'm loving the socks. Thanks. So, full dress rehearsal today? I believe so. All set? Yep. Have you had the best weekend with your friends? I have. And what are we doing tomorrow? Jump rush. Are you going to wear that for jump rush? That would be hilarious. I've come down with feeds for this lot. And I know that I've got one missing. And ordinarily, I would worry about that. But I've seen her up across in the other field. And I kind of thought that it must be Peppa Pig because she does have a habit of going off on her own, especially when there's ponies in the next door field that are of the male variety. So I'm pretty sure that she's through there flirting with the Exmoor ponies. So we'll have to go and find her for her breakfast. 
she must have heard and has decided that food is far more important than boys. Little Maybelline, look at that dummy. You're a flirt. Hey, little pep. It's so mild, rugs have had to come off. So they're having a bit of a mutual grooming fest. There was the three of them here a minute ago, Annie, Wren and Hidda. But Annie's now disappeared. Oh, I thought she'd gone round the back there because she knows that we've got more carrots and apples arrived, but fortunately she's not. Fortunately, she's just gone in the stable here. And you're grooming yourself. Were Hidda and Wren too intent on each other? Oh, that's not fair, is it? Lisa, you're going to have to come and groom Annie. <laughs> yeah. It's not fair if you haven't got anyone to mutually groom, eh? There. Oh, she says that's the spot. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Annie's got Wren now. Much better from another horse's mouth, isn't it? Oh, he does coming back in. See, everyone's itchy this morning because it's warm. Even little jubbers. I'm contemplating clipping him. Which I might do. Should we have a little before and after video, jubbers? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all that thick, hairy coat, which I know you grow for a reason, but you do have a jumper to wear. You are particularly itchy right now, aren't you? So we're gonna get rid of it and then put your nice, warm, toasty jumper back on. Look at the gorgeous little boy, all plaited up and ready for his clip. video of Jubba's all clipped. He's going to have his winter jumper back on. Go out. Look at his buddy Hoitzer. But there is some method in my madness and I ummed and ahed about whether to clip him or not. But all will be revealed next week as to one of the reasons why we've done it. Oh, Annie, do you want to go as well? No, you're going to go and chat to Jubbers. He's being clipped. So little Maybelline and Inna are off with a off for a walk with Lisa and Susan. I've done a bit of groundwork in the arena first. Now they're off to head down Greenbank Lane. It's going to turn very cold tonight. 
So I've come out with all the rugs and get them all dressed up in their jumpers. I don't mind just the cold, but because it's going to rain, I don't want them getting wet and then cold. So we're going to get all their jumpers back on. They've all come in here quite full of themselves. And a lot of people think that they're being naughty when they're like this. And they've done lots of running round. But it is simply because it's turned that much colder that they need to have a good run around to keep themselves warm. In it, boys. So, Uber, hopefully you won't quite so much now because you've got your jumper on. Nero's busy snorting in the background. I feel a bit bad now coming down to these because, of course, they heard the quad. So they're very confused. They think they're getting another feed. I'm afraid you're not, girls. You're just getting jumpers on. And you've got yours on already, Inna. That's everyone's jumpers on for the night. You all need to go back in the field now. Micah, are you missing your free raining? I think you're actually quite enjoying it back out with the girls, eh? Yeah? Little skinny inny. And little Yoda, who wanted proper cuddles just now. Hey Yoda. Yeah. Oh, she's a very good Kelly. Yeah. Can you go back out, my? Pepper. Hey, pep, pep. Hmm. See, they're all rather. Can you not destroy it? Because I know we've got a new one coming, but that doesn't mean that you destroy it any further. I think you were responsible for ripping that in the first place, aren't you? Little licky. Little Zhao Zhao. Oh, Mabel, are you ready for bed? They all stand here because they all actually want to be up the top. As lovely and as healthy as it is for them to live out 24 seven, they all just want to mooch around and be up where we are. Right, come on girls, you need to go out. Good night, everybody. Oh, and so it begins. These are the first droppings that they've done in their turnout area. Oh, Ice, do you want your food? Here we go. Now you see, this is a good sign because it did rain last night and get quite cold. And this is a very obvious sign that they spent some time in here last night. See, I'm so late bringing them their feed out today. They're not even here. Are they going to appear over the horizon? Come girls! I can hear them. There they are. Everyone's here. 
Micah, Spesh, Nika, Yodel, Dow, and Skinny Innie. And who's late to dinner again? Maybelline. There she is. Come on, Mabes. For the laughter, thank you for the tears, thank you for the moments that we hold dear.